Hello, so today we're going to look at one of these. Now, if it focuses, this is an Aircrew's NBC suit. So, coverall Aircrew inner NBC Mark 1, size 4. Don't know if that will fit me or not. Um, fabric date, something April 1991. So, there we go. So, basically, from what I can tell, this is from the very limited pictures I saw of them. These are basically what um, flight crewmen or pilots would be wearing underneath their flight outfits. So they get a very basic NBC suit, you know, under that. So let's open it. And it looks like it's sealed in a second bag inside, which looks like the vacuum packed one. Yeah, pretty tight in there. That's definitely vacuum packed, as you can see. Um, date is still unreadable, but um, yeah, that is a lot more readable now, the actual label. So there you go. So I'm assuming this is going to make some sort of hissing noise when I get it open. And it looks like it's either a grey or a dark green colour. So let's get this open if I can, without a knife. If I need to get a knife, I'll have to stop the video and come back. But hopefully... There might be a tear point on the bag somewhere. But again, these aren't things you'd put on in an emergency, these NBC suits, as far as I'm aware. They'd be ones you'd have on underneath all your flight gear. So, they're sort of intended as basically precautionary NBC suits. Right, the elastic bands are on the inside. Do I have anything sharp nearby? If not, as I said, I'll cut the video away and then we'll do the next bit. Yeah, this is a really tough bag. They did not want this to rip by accident, which is a good sign of quality, but a bit annoying if you're just impromptu trying to open it. So let me get a knife and then I'll be back. Right, there's the East German bayonet, but missing its um, handle, as you can see. I was trying to eventually get all the bake light off of this and to put a new handle on it, but... Um, it started you know breaking apart and it would cut your hands if you use it but there we go nice hiss so now yeah that opens easily yeah so it does look to me to be more of a green color a bit like the mark 3 nbc suits were rather than the gray um so let's get the elastic bands off of it and this See how it's left an indentation on the actual thing from being there so long and vacuum packed. So, this NBC suit is older than I am. If it's from 1991 and I was born in 93, then, th yeah, this NBC suit is, what, 30 years old, I guess? But, yeah, if it was actually April, yeah, it's 30 years old. It's not quite 31 yet, but showing my math is correct in the top, sort of, front of my head. So anyway, let's unfurl this thing and work out which bits are which. There they go. So there's not actually a hood on this, it seems, because obviously you'd be wearing it with a flight suit anyway. But that's the actual NBC suit, so this might fit me, it might not. Let's have a look at the label. So it's got a front zip on this one by the look of it. If I can figure out... Ah, so, due to age, that bit's come off, unless that bit was just a storage thing. Hey, I should have just a storage thing, because there's a zip there. So it zips all the way down, pretty much to, I guess, the groin. Ah, oh, yeah, there's another one on here, so these are just little storage things for the um, zips. Ah, I see, it's one of those dual zip systems, if you wanted to use it that way. So... Let's space this out, and I said this isn't one you actually had to put on in an emergency. So yeah, it looks like a charcoal inner liner. Oh, it's made by Remploy, look. <laughs> um, it's got the ammo on there, so here we go. I'll get the label so it's visible for the camera, hopefully. There you go. So, this might be a bit small for me, but we'll find out. Now, as I said, I don't know how... I don't know if you just have underwear on underneath this. So what I'm going to do, stop the camera, climb into it, because I'm going to need to stretch the legs out before I fit into it. But as I said, this is not an NBC suit you'd actually be putting on in an emergency. It's one that you can take as long as you like, really, to get into it, because you get into it before you put all your other flight gear on, before you get in a plane or a helicopter or whatever. So I'll get into it and restart the camera. 
Now, unfortunately, I'm too broad-shouldered for this NBC suit. I can't fit into it because <sighs> I'll show you what will happen. If I get this arm in, but she might just fit, but this is very uncomfortable because this is clearly for somebody a bit smaller than me. But let's get this bit on. There we go. That's I would definitely want the slightly bigger one, but we've just about got into it. If I wasn't wearing clothes underneath, you know, just underwear, that might be a bit better. But there you go. So this is basically the NBC equivalent of a long john. Um, I can't move my arms very well. If I lift my arms up, it digs right into my balls, so that's not very comfortable. But let me show you anyway what it looks like. Um, so let's just pan the camera down. And there we go. So it looks like there's a bit of room in the legs, or at least baggy wise, there's room in the legs. But um, like I was saying, in terms of height and all that, um, not that, um, you know, especially with my shoulders. So again, as I said, there's no hood on this for obvious reasons because if you're in a flight suit, you will have a helmet on and a mask or whatever, like an oxygen mask, so you can't have a hood with this as far as I'm aware. But obviously if you had a, if you wanted to use this even if you weren't in flight gear, you could probably get a gas mask with a chemical hood on it and then it would still make a body seal. So, in some ways if this is a slightly bigger size, this would be quite comfortable. It's a bit itchy on the arms, obviously with the charcoal lining. Um, I might, because obviously the charcoal is probably long since expired in this, and I know in theory these NBC suits are meant to be washable. I'm tempted to put this in a washing machine um, on a low temperature with a shitload of um, fabric softener. Just to see if I can actually get this to be a bit more comfortable. Because in theory now I've got into it and I've stretched it a bit. It might be a fairly good sort of thing just like I said as an underlayer. If you wanted, it might work on a really rainy day like we said before with proper NBC suits just to keep you warm. Now it looks like there's like a little belt on it which I obviously do not need with this suit. Now weirdly it's not a proper NBC suit in the sense that there are pockets there so you can um, stick your hand in and play with your uh, junk if you want to <laughs> while you've got the NBC suit on. That is a bit weird but again as I said this is probably because it's intended to be worn under other clothing and it's like a last ditch emergency thing. But it's, it's an interesting thing because as I said normally when we think of NBC suits we think of the much bulkier ones than this. Um, that you know you have on over all your other gear. Um, if I had to choose between this Remploy suit and the other Remploy one, what the Britannia or whatever it was called, I would definitely pick the Britannia. Even though I prefer the zip on the front because having a zip on the front of an NBC suit is far better than having a zip on the back there, which is bloody difficult to zip up when you're in it. But this one, um, so yeah, if they did a Remploy suit like the Britannia but with a frontal zip, I'd really like that. But sadly, um, they don't. As I said, um, there you go. Yeah, I quite like this actually. As I said, I ideally should have one with a bit more width in the shoulders, maybe another couple of centimetres to the height. Because as you can see, my hands aren't actually shorter than the sleeves either. Um, but I always have the weird thing where most of my height is actually sort of, you know, stomach and upwards. My, I'm like one of those people, where I don't know if you, some people know this, like where you get people where um, some people are tall because they've got really long legs. Some people are tall because they obviously the really tall people have really long legs and they're really tall from like obviously the stomach upwards. Um, I'm only about five eight, but most of my height is actually in proportionately about here and upwards. So it's like I've got a much beefier torso than I have with my legs. So that's kind of weird. Um, no, it's not weird weird because they're not massively disproportionate. But I do find generally stuff for my height. If I get something that fits my um, height for you know chest upwards, is too long in the legs. And if I get stuff that's the right height for my legs, it won't be won't reach my shoulders. If it's like a one-piece suit like this, because they're generally, you know, they're always doing even proportions between how much height they think will be in your legs compared to your chest and that. And I said the other problem I have is I'm too broad-shouldered for some of these things because um, I've noticed that a lot of t-shirts, for example, a t-shirt that fits me comfortably is obviously for somebody who's intended to be fatter than me. Is the simple way of putting it because the shoulder width doesn't have matches my stomach, like girth, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, there you go. So, as I said, this isn't the best possible fit for me. The more I'm wearing it, the more, ow! Yeah, that that, that definitely does not feel good on my balls. Um, so yeah, don't do junk, jumping jacks in this, because it will uh, <laughs> jump your jack, I guess. Um, but yeah, overall, I actually don't mind this. Like I said, the easiest way of thinking about this is basically a long john. Um, you know, um, 
those of you who don't know, I quite like long johns, especially in cold weather, but they're like when you have these but made out of really comfortable kind of like cottony fabric. You do get military long johns, um, but basically it works exactly like this, it's just a much softer, nicer material, and the idea is you wear it under other clothes to provide more warmth. But, yeah, this thing's a bit weird, but, as I said, not quite the right proportions for me, but at least I just about fit in it, which surprised me, but, now can I get it off? This is going to be another problem. I hope I'm not trapped in this forever. Uh, yeah, that is not comfortable to... Uh, uh, again, our straight jacket. Yeah, there we go. Right, at least this isn't leaking charcoal all over me, so that's actually better compared to some of the old British NBC suits. And obviously getting the leg bit off is quite simple, you just roll it down. And unlike the Remploy one, because it's not got the really tight elasticated cuffs on this one, you can just pull it like that. Again, it's easier to do off camera because I'm trying to do it standing up. If you sit on your arse, you can get these off a lot easier. There you go, one leg free. Let me get the other one free. There we go. Right. So that's the NBC suit off. Where's the top of it? There. So yeah, there we go, that's that flight suit, NBC suit. Not the worst thing in the world, not the most comfortable thing in the world. I guess when they were new they would have done their job for what they were intended for, but again these weren't frontline heavy duty NBC suits. It seems like it's a last ditch thing for a pilot to have it under their sort of flight jacket or whatever in case, um, you know, they get downed I guess and then there's some chemical exposure. 